influence on the plays that we run and the outcomes of the game okay. and things like that. And most importantly, I like being able to, to help my teammates be successful. Um, it's hard for your receivers to make successful to be successful if you don't give them great passes. It's hard for your O line to be successful if you're always running out of their blocking lanes and not staying in the pocket and things like that. So I really like the the fact that I can influence a lot of people. You get recognized on campus. People see you and know who you are. Some of that or not? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I feel like a lot of players on the team do as well. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Does it bother you? Is fine or is it? Is yeah, not? It's fine. I mean, it's 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 how it is. You play football at a big time university, and and it's expected. Okay. How you getting around these days? I know Coach Ben the scooters, which I don't remember if he had one. But how are you getting around day to day? Yeah, I used to have a scooter. Um, my brothers drive it at home now, but nice. I, is it I drive. Okay? It, yeah, okay. I, I drive it cheap. Okay. Um, is it? Uh, you're almost done with these, with school. Is that right? Don't you? Finishing up? Yeah, I have one course left. To, so what, to what's the plan long term for you? Like what's next year, next semester, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to enter a master's program. Okay. Uh, it's a master's of science in technology management. Okay. Uh, it's through the business school here. It's a one-year program, so by the time I'm done playing here, then my master's degree will be completed. It's awesome. After football, what do you want to do in life when football is all done? Um... I have a lot of interest in like pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry, really? um, companies like Pfizer and, and things like that. Um, just any any position I can get into to help people. You know, I like pharmaceuticals. I like still like sports. I don't think I would like to be a coach in the long term. No. I've thought about it a lot. I don't think that's the route for me. Um, I'll definitely be working in some type of business related field whether and I'd like it to be involved with like medicine or gotcha. medical technology. You're from Ohio. Will you be going back to Ohio after football's over? Um is that not no. I'm not sure entirely, you know. Yeah. Wherever whenever football's done, um, whatever positions are available for me, I'll pursue those. Um, Ohio has a big place in my heart. Definitely home. I love everything about it. But uh yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't look too far into the future. If you have an hour of free time, what what are you doing with it? If, you know, no football, no school. What are you doing? Um, honestly, watching film, working out. Those are two big ones. I like. I'm I'm a big TV show guy. I really? love Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, so there you go. The season actually just ended, I and mean, you got to wait another year or so for the next season. So when I'm bored, I go through and rewatch old episodes of that. Really, that's your that's your show? Yeah, I love Game of Thrones. Um, I like playing tennis. Really? That's just a kind of hobby of mine. Okay. Um, those are yeah, those are pretty two good. Things. We asked the players who's the most pre- presidential on the team, and Nick Allegretti got a lot of votes. Does that surprise you? Is that is that right? Uh, that's definitely right. Um, the man really has his life in order, and he's very organized and very smart guy. Um, so I would definitely say Nicky is is the most presidential. You got a, your younger brothers that play football, or just one? I have two. Younger two. Brothers. Okay. Yep. So one. I heard one's pretty good, or like could it be the next deal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're both very, very talented. Okay. One's an eighth grader, and one's a junior in high school. Okay. Names are Cameron and Carson. Cameron's the older one. Cameron's the older one. Okay. Yep. Um, Cameron can't. Went to some camps over the summer, came and camped here. He played really well throughout the summer. And okay. Carson had like 36 touchdowns in eight games last year. So okay. he's pretty good too. I, they're both pretty impressive. They all both spelled with a Y in there. Uh, Cameron C A M E R O N and Carson C A R S Y N. Very good. And uh, who has your better arm, you or Coach McGee? <laughs> no question? No question. Have you seen him throw? Yeah. He's not. Me, he, we have pictures of him now. They yeah. playing quarterback at all points. I actually just saw him some film the other day. Finally, okay. they showed it, and he was he was a really good college player. But now I I definitely have a better arm. Tell me something people don't know about you. I mean, you know, generally don't know superstition or a hobby or something. You know, something people would know generally. Um, I think some people don't know is. When I'm off the football field, I'm a very relaxed guy. Um, when you see me on the field, I'm very competitive and You're high energy guy. and and things like that. But off the field, I, I like to just really decompress and be relaxed and hang out and, and not really do too much. Um, 
Yeah, I would say that's something that people don't know about me. Tell me something people don't know about a teammate. You can bust mm. on somebody. Tell me a secret about one of your teammates. This is the question. Dang, that's a good question. Think about it for a second. I go, I go, do you miss West Lent? Do I miss West Lent? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a great teammate. Um, exceptional leader and just honestly a really good person. So having him around was, was great. Yeah, you talk to him much? Are you able to or communicate with him? Yeah, every now and again. Okay. I mean, he was really busy. He, he was going through trying to make it in the NFL and training and things like that. So he didn't have as much free time. But, yeah, we still keep in touch. You mentioned Game of Thrones, so I know that's TV. Is there an all-time favorite football movie for you? One you really mm. would watch over and over, see it on TV. That I'm watching that. Yeah, I really like Remember the Titans. Okay. Um, I think that's a that's a really good movie. Very, very good movie. Last one is uh, you played basketball in, in high school at a pretty high level, I understand, right? You ever think about going over with Brad Underwood and, you know, playing, playing for them, helping them out? Nah, no, I was better at baseball than okay. I was basketball. So um, maybe Dan I thought Harlan. about it when I was coming out of high school playing baseball at really? different schools, and I had a couple of options. But, yeah, no, I'm definitely a football player at so heart. Give me something about team teammate. Um, and if, I you can't say, think of this, if you can think of something great, if you can't, we can do it after practice or whatever. I mean, I would say that like Malik Turner is a very, very good basketball player. I don't know how he still has it. Like I feel like he could go on our basketball team right really? now and play. Like He's really, really good. That's pretty good. I know people knew he played basketball, but right. he's like a legit talent. Okay, great. Hey, thanks for doing that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. In the pharmaceutical industry, would you be more of a sales rep or a research scientist? <laughs> oh, good question. Um, with the degree I have, probably a sales rep. Um, I'm interested in the research aspects, too, if I ever got the chance to be in that type of position. But, I mean, that's a while down the road. I expect to play football for a while. When you're a, the, the face of a Big Ten football program, you probably meet a lot of people. You probably helps you segue into a job like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've had some connections that even just work locally in Chicago and things like that and for companies I'd be interested in and, and I mean that's definitely a bonus when you go to a university like this with an alumni base like this. It, I'm definitely thankful for that. Chase, you have one start under your belt, but you got this team behind you. What did you do to do that? I just stayed true to myself, really. Um, I don't think I did anything special. I think it was more just like this university needed a confident, someone who was really confident and someone who wasn't afraid to speak their mind and be their self. And, and I feel like I kind of tried to fill that role the best I could. I didn't change anything. I've, I've been the same person I've always been since I got here. So I think just me being myself is whatever happened. Uh, I have strong relationships with people throughout the team, and I think I have respect for that. What do you think you have to this team and this offense as the starting quarterback? Competitiveness. Um, I, th I feel like I'm fearless. I feel like I I'll do anything to win. And I think that a lot of people on our team now have that quality. And I think it's it's going to be exciting this year to to play on a field with with a group of people that has the same mindset and and that are really hungry. I'd say an edge you kind of bring. You, you talk on the field. Why is that something? Does that get you going? Do you think that gets your teammates going? Uh, I think it's part of the game, honestly. Um, I just think that I'm competitive. Like I feel like you can't be on a football field and really not be vocal and in the position I am playing quarterback it's hard to play without being vocal I I try to make sure everyone's always on the same page and, and just try to bring that energy and and I feel like that's that's an important part of the game I feel like not just your play but how you carry yourself your charisma your demeanor I feel like it all ties in together is that something that was always there or did, did you learn that you know at a certain age or I mean my dad is he's really he's like that he was college basketball player and just being raised by him and my mom was a college athlete and her and my dad are always competitive and I just really feel like my dad was the one at a young age who just kind of taught me like look this is how you play the game I don't care what sport it is like like you gotta hate losing more than you love winning and he's really always told me that like through all the ups and downs and things like that just never let that fade and and 
always remember that you're playing the game because you love it. And if you love something, you want to show you love it. You don't want to hide anything. So that's kind of what my parents have always taught me. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Did you